recently Colin Cowherd uh, was talking a lot about the Lions. That's that's a story in itself. Big national name talking about the Lions. I don't know what you think about Colin Cowherd, but he brought up brought up a great point about Jared Goff and his future as a Lion. He said, "Look at the playoff pitcher in the NFC, and look at the quarterbacks. You've got Hertz." and cousins at the top but then after that you've got brock purdy you've got brady's agent on his way out dak daniel jones washington as heineke you've got geno smith and then you've got Goff. so his point was in the nfc you've got one of the top two or three <clears throat> quarterbacks in your league in the nfc we have on our team so the Lions should absolutely keep Jared Goff. There's not even a question anymore. We all had questions early on. Maybe some of you didn't. I certainly did. Is Can Goff in this new modern NFL, he can't move. I, I It just drove me nuts. But now it's clear. You've got an offensive line. You've got running backs. And now you look at these are the top teams in the NFC. There's no outstanding quarterbacks you go over to the nfc it's locked up with burrow mahomes and allen right and i think we have a as lions fans we look at the top quarterbacks and compare golf to them well we shouldn't do that in general but we don't need to do that because they are on the they're in the afc so they're going to be in the afc for years to come but in the nfc you look at these teams and this is what cowherd's point was San Fran, don't know where they're at with quarterback. Tampa Bay is going to be looking for a quarterback. The Giants, Washington, Seattle, they're looking for – This is these are just teams that have kind of snuck into this, but these are the our you know, so-called best teams in the NFC, and the Lions have one of the best quarterbacks in the NFC. So there's no way the Lions can move off of Jared Goff, especially if the offensive line continues to play well. We've got more and more weapons on the outside. It's a no-brainer that we keep – Jared Goff and I completely agree with Colin Cowherd on that I hadn't looked at it that way is like look at these other quarterbacks even even Dak you know I mean yeah he's he's okay but man I think I would take Goff I really think with our our line our our weapons you know I had someone in the comments say uh Jared Goff plus Brad Holmes equals more than enough and I think that's so true. I think that's hits it right on the head. We're going to surround Jared Goff with the right people, right players fit fit him. We're going to playing. We're calling plays that fit him. So you look at at it. Yes, Jalen Hurts, very good. Different type of quarterback, very good. Cousins is just solid, right? I think you can't argue that anymore. He's just a very solid quarterback. But then after that, in the NFC, it's Goff, and we don't have to look at the Burrow, Mahomes, and Allen on the other side when you can look at how well Goff can play and his confidence is growing. And again, you, he's starting to be, I just said it with cousins. He's, he's starting to be, you can't argue with it. He's gone to super bowl. He's gone to a super bowl. He's been on winning teams. He's turned around and been on the turnaround side of the Detroit lions that alone hats off to you. So we are definitely keeping Jared Goff. It's a no-brainer. It's what Brad Holmes and Dad Campbell want to do anyway. They want to. It would have to be something where he was messing up so bad that they had to move off. They want to keep Goff. He's a leader. He says all the right things. He's only 28 years old. He, His next two years of his contract, very favorable for the team. That never happens, right? When you have a top three quarterback in your league in, in the NFC and it's a favorable contract, he's 28 years old. He will be back. He is going to be our quarterback for the next, I don't know how many years, because it's just like, okay, you, you're doing it now, man. Like I, I appreciate and I see it before when it's one and six and you're thinking, what's the problem? Because I think that's what messed us all up. We're seeing these players on the field and it's like, how are we not better? It must be our quarterback. And that's where I made the mistake. Goff is in. Goff is our guy. He is going to be our guy. He's embraced the Lions. We've embraced him as kind of this throwaway guy that, you know what, the Rams are like, fine, you take him, whatever. Good luck with him. Well, now look at it, right? Rams went all in, by the way. They have no draft picks to rebuild. They're thin. Where we are young and we have picks in the future and we're winning. Before it was like, we're not winning, but we'll try to get better. No, we're winning. 
we're young. We're winning with young players that are only going to get better. And we have future draft capital. So golf's going to be around. Love it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you always been a golf guy or have you just come around recently? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll see all of you on the next one.